In this video, you'll learn how to create your first circuit using a particle third generation device and hardware included with every device kit. This video uses the particle argon, but the exact same steps apply to the boron in xenon devices. Before proceeding with this tutorial, your argon, boron, or xenon should be configured and claimed to your particle account. If you still need to claim your device, visit setup.particle.io before continuing. To get started, you'll need the following items, many of which are included in every argon kit. A particle argon, one micro USB cable, two 220 ohm resistors, one light emitting diode or LED, one phototransistor, and one jumper wire of any color. Using the provided components, we're going to build a simple circuit and write firmware that blinks the LED and changes the LED state based on the amount of light detected by the phototransistor. To assemble the circuit, first take the LED and plug the long leg into the breadboard on the same row as the argon pin marked A5. Plug the other end into the blue ground rail at the edge of the breadboard. Then take one of the resistors, Plug one end into the same ground rail and the other end into the same row as the ground pin on the argon. Next, take the phototransistor and plug the longer leg into an empty row above the left side of the argon. Plug the shorter leg into the row where the 3V3 pin of the argon is plugged in. Take the other resistor, plug one end into the same row and the other into the same row as the ground pin on the argon. Finally, take the jumper wire and plug one side into the same row as the phototransistor and resistor, and the other end into the A0 row of the argon. With the circuit complete, it's time to write firmware. Open the Particle Web IDE by visiting build.particle.io in a browser. If you haven't already, sign in with your Particle account. On the left sidebar, you'll see a number of example apps. These working samples are designed to jumpstart your development with Particle. Click the Blink an LED example app. Then click the Use this example button to create a new app in your account. The code for this app will load in the editor window at the center of your screen. The code has been commented to help you understand what's going on. The first part of the code declares two variables, one for the LED on your breadboard and one for the blue LED connected to the D7 pin on every Particle device. Change the LED1 variable from the default of D0 to A5. Next, the setup function configures these two pins as outputs, which means we can set their state to high or low, on or off. Finally, the loop turns both LEDs on, off, then loops continuously. The delay functions tell the program to pause for 1000 milliseconds, or one second, before taking the next action. To run this code on our argon, we'll need to perform a process called flashing. Open the Devices tab by clicking the crosshair icon on the left side of the screen. If this is your first particle device, it should be the only one in the list and you can continue to the next step. If not, select your argon by clicking the star next to the device name. Once your device is selected, flash it by clicking the lightning bolt icon at the top left of the screen. Behind the scenes, Particle is compiling your code into a binary that can be installed on your device and applying it to the device using our over-the-air firmware update mechanism. During this process, your device will blink magenta and it may restart a few times. If there's a newer version available of the Particle Device OS firmware than what's on the device, that will also be applied at this time. Once the update is complete, both LEDs should blink on and off each second. Now, let's modify our firmware to use the phototransistor as a light meter. When the phototransistor detects light, the LED will turn off. Otherwise, the light will turn on. First, we'll add two new variables. One to map to the A0 pin of our phototransistor, and another to hold the reading from the phototransistor itself. Then, in the setup function, we'll set the phototransistor as an input so that we can read from it. Next, in the loop function, let's delete the code and add something new. We'll add an analog read to read the value from the phototransistor. This will return a value between 0, meaning that the transistor is picking up no light, and 255, which means it's reading a lot of light. 
With a light value in hand, we can add an if statement to determine whether or not to shine the light or turn on the LED. In this code, we'll switch on the LED if the light rating is under 15, but feel free to test this rating in your own space and adjust as needed. Now, following the same process as before, flash your device. Make sure it's selected in the Devices tab, then click the lightning bolt icon. Once you've flashed the device and it comes back online, try covering and uncovering the photo transistor to make the LED turn on and off. Congratulations, you've built your first circuit with the Particle Argon. To continue your journey, head on over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!